Welcome to my channel and it is July. Summer is flying by. We are in July already. So this video is going to be my June favorite. So let's get started because I know these videos can like for real be super long. So if you're interested in seeing what my June favorites were, then keep watching. Okay, so first I always like to start with makeup. I don't know why, but I do. And I have three, four things um, that were my favorite this month in June. And first up are these Milani eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, these eyeshadows I have been wearing every single day. And there, there was a sale and it was buy one, get one half off and of course I was like I'm not gonna pass that up so I got these two eyeshadows one is Bella bronze metallic and the other is Bella copper metallic and every day I promise I reach for one of these to put all over my eyelid and under um, my, my waterline and under my waterline so um, yeah these are just really bronzy and shimmery for summer and I love that bronze goddess look for summertime and yeah I've been loving these by Milani and then this was um, one of my favorites before and then I stopped using it because I thought that they were getting discontinued because I seen all of them in like this clearance bin when I was over in Spain but it is not discontinued and it's this uh, L'Oreal yeah L'Oreal telescopic carbon black and oh my gosh you put this on your eye, your eyelashes, and vroom. And everybody knows that I struggle with putting on false lashes. So whatever mascara can help me out in making me look like I have long lashes, I'm down for it. So this is my favorite again. And then another lipstick by Milani. I have just been on this Milani cra craze, craze, Milani craze lately. And it's this Matte Confident 67. And yes, I am wearing it today because everybody knows once I get a lipstick, I'm like pretty much wearing it for the next three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. And I will wear them out until I get another one. So that is all I have for makeup. And then just real quick um, for nail polish remover, I have been loving this Professional Remover Moisturizing Formula by Onyx Professional. And it's this lavender salon strength enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil. And oh my goodness, this is like the bomb nail polish remover. And every single time I need to remove some nail polish or glitter or anything, this bad boy helps me out. So I'm going to start with hair now. Hair. Yeah, let's go into hair. This spray by Jerome Russell. It is all the hype that everybody was setting it out to be. Um, I picked up this blonde one and I've used it probably like three times and I am obsessed. It has a really, 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 really good smell to it. I don't know why it has a good smell to it, but it does have a good smell to it and it doesn't leave my hair like crunchy and hard. It's really good. So if you're into or having that hair color itch like I was, I suggest Jerome Russell. And I got it at Walgreens. And then also while we're still on hair, this used to be one of my favorites. Um, this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Conditioning Repair Cream. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think because I was like so into like finding something else that works with my hair as well but I am back to Cantu Shea Butter and I love 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 this it really makes my hair so soft fluffy and defined so if you need a good leave-in Cantu is your friend and then finally for hair is this just for me hair hair milk with Shea butter, soy milk, and honey. It's a curl smoother, defines curls, and controls this for natural hair. And I use this for my youngest daughter, who is mixed, of course. And this smells amazing. And I love the way that it leaves her hair so silky, smooth, and really it's no kind of frizz when I put this in her hair. So that is it for 
the little beauty cosmetic hair part. So moving on, you know I always gotta do like shoes and stuff. So for my oldest daughter, I got these sandals from, guess where I got them from? Walmart. These suckers came from Walmart and they're just these cute little simple black, uh black, brown sandals and they have like the little pink in it and it's faded glory and these are really cute. She hasn't been wearing these much lately because she usually wears like one specific pair of shoes and then wears them out but I'm pretty sure she'll be reaching for these and then also I got these shoes for her just in time for 4th of July which is right around the corner and I got these from Target and these are just some cute little casual um, American spirited shoes so she hasn't been wearing these much either but I'm pretty sure once school ro rolls back around she'll be wearing them maybe she'll wear them for 4th of July I'm not sure yet and then also, I picked up some shoes for myself, which are probably going to be my favorite. And they're just these cute little slip-ons by Pink and Pepper. I have no idea who Pink and Pepper is, but I like this shoe style. So I picked it up, and these are just some cute, like, like I said, little slip-ons to when you're like running out the door. These are probably going to go with just about everything that I wear for day-to-day -day basis. And... Also, if you've seen my toddler essential video, you would have, you would have seen my daughter rocking these cute little babyator glasses, and how adorable are these? They're little babyators. That's what they're called, babyators. And I have to read you the package because it's so funny. It says, "Warning: Do not use when flying faster than twice the speed of sound. Not approved for use above 50,000 feet." Baby Aiders LLC is not responsible for these sunglasses causing uber coolness in your little aviator. This product is for small children and adults with very small heads only. Normal adults who want to look awesome will have to get less cool non babyator sunglasses. Is that not funny? Like, I literally like was laughing reading that. So, yeah, these baby Aiders. So, finally, last but not least. are these Tide Pods. Oh my goodness, these things are like genius. Whoever thought of this is genius, genius. So there's these little Tide Pods and they look like this. And it has all your detergent right here in this little pocket. So when you put your clothes in the washer, you just drop that sucker in and it's like, pouring the detergent in a little cup and then swirling it around. But this is just, you throw it in like, whoever thought of that, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And it has detergent, stain remover, stain remover, yeah, stain remover, and brightener. So these are really like convenient, especially if you have like older children and you're trying to teach them how to wash clothes and you don't want them wasting your laundry detergent because you know they be trying to act like they don't know what they're doing. You should get these. No complaints, no excuses. All you have to do is drop it in there. Convenient. So that was it for my favorites. Hopefully this was super fast. I stumbled a lot, but we're just going to roll with it. Hopefully I can edit it out. But if not, then you'll just see me looking foolish. So thank you so much for watching. July is here. I hope everyone has a safe 4th of July. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video. If you have social media, share my videos, please. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.